All right, guys. Um, so let's let's go ahead and get started, guys. Like I said, we've got a, a proven system here. Um, it's called the 535. We're going to go through it pretty quickly this morning. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it's not switching screens. Hold on. All right, guys. So the building block of this business is the 535. And what you want to do uh, in this business, we have nine ranks to achieve in this business, guys. And um, when you come in, you come in as an energy advisor and you want to work uh, very quickly to get your first promotion to regional energy advisor. And you see here <clears throat> that to get to regional energy advisor, you want to get yourself five personal customer points and a total of 20 personal customer points. Um, and again, uh, the five personal customer points customer points are included in the 20 customer points, guys. And once you do that, doesn't matter how long it takes you, you're going to earn $100 as a, as a rank up bonus. Now, uh, the company rewards you for doing it quickly. So if you do it in 30 days or less, guys, you're going to double that bonus and give you a $200 bonus. So you want to come in, you want to get off to a fast start. So what is the 535? So you want to talk about doing this in your first 30 days, guys. You want to set a goal to come in and get promoted quickly and set the momentum for your business. Uh, so like we talked about, you want to acquire five personal energy or solar customers. You want to recruit three new energy advisors into your business. And then you want to help those three new energy advisors get five uh, personal customer, you know, energy, electric customers or solar customers, guys. And that'll give you a total of 20 personal customer points. And you'll get that uh, first advancement to regional energy advisor. So depending on the the mix of customers that you get and in what market you're in, okay, you're going to earn anywhere from $100 to $600 for enrolling five personal customers. Okay, you're going to recruit three new energy advisors. You're going to help those uh, energy advisors get five customers. And you're going to earn anywhere from $150 to $900 based on the mentor bonus and what kind of customers those are. <clears throat> Uh, reach the first rank of regional energy advisor within 30 days, and you're going to get that $200 fast start bonus that we talked about. So in your first 30 days, guys, you can earn anywhere from $450 to $1,700 uh, right out of the gate, guys, depending on what market you're in. So these are the nine levels of ranks that we have going here. So you want to keep uh, repeating this process over and over again, 535, five, the building blocks of the business. You keep going at it like that. And you'll achieve all of these ranks, okay? And you can get up to almost $85,000 just in rank advancement bonuses by promoting through the system. Uh, we have uh, a fast track to success packet, guys. Every new person in this business should should go and download this packet um, at the at our uh, bit.ly uh, website, guys. And, and this is going to help you sort of stay focused and give you the fundamentals to get started and get moving on your business. So like I said, we have a system here, guys, and the first part of our system is identifying your why. Uh, you want to find out what is the reason you're doing this business, and you want the kind of, uh, you want to build a why that uh, really drives you through what could be hard times in the business, guys. It's not always going to be easy. Um, you know, sometimes you're going to go to somebody, a friend or a family member that, you know, you you think there's there's no way they would say no to you and then they say no and you can get discouraged by that guys but if you've got a why that motivates you that's stronger than any sort of adversity you can run into guys you develop that why and it's going to carry you through any hard times that you have in this business um there's a lot of reasons that you might want to do this business guys you want to catch up on your bills you want to pay off credit cards uh you want to send one of your kids to school private education college uh you need a new car a new house uh, you want to travel, guys. One of my reasons that I got into this business was I really wanted to uh, travel with my wife. There's a lot of places um, in the world that I'd like to see. And um, honestly, two of them, one of them was the Caribbean. I got to see that um, with the leadership to Punta Cana in June. And the other, another one was Hawaii, which we just got back from. So already within a year, I've got to scratch off um, two of my whys. Uh, off my list, guys. So there's a lot of reasons that you can um, identify within yourself to to um, to go and build this business. So uh, maybe you want to fire your boss, uh, give more to your charity or church. That's a great one. More time, financial independence, guys. All kinds of reasons. And what you want to do is you want to get out there and you want to build a vision board. Uh, there's a lot of different apps, and you know you could you could uh, download a, an app called Canva, and you could build a vision board using your phone. Um, you could cut up pictures out of magazines, sit around. The table with your family, get them involved. 
in building your, your dream here, guys. And you want to put this somewhere where you can see it every day. Some people put it on their fridge. Some people put it in their car. Some people put it on their bathroom mirror. You want to wake up and you want to just be able to see every day what you're working hard for, guys, and keep focused on your vision. Uh, the next step in our system, guys, is the written list. And this is very, very important, guys. The written list is your inventory, guys. So you're going to um, you know, you want to have as many names as possible, guys. If you don't have a list, you don't have a business. So you want to get your names of people off from your phone, off from your Facebook page, out of your head and onto a written piece of paper, guys. And um, that's so that you carry that thing around. You're driving in your car. You're stopping at stores. You're doing business during the day. You've always got it available to enter new names and build that list as you go along. Uh, this list is going to be people, you know, acquaintances, uh, people you work with. Uh, social media contacts, maybe people you barely know and they're on Facebook, but you've seen their posts, they're they're motivated, uh, they're into business, they like making money. Um, other people you do business with, your barbers, uh, you know, uh, your tax accountant guy, uh, all that stuff, guys, anybody you do business with and uh, your friends and family. The list is the inventory for your business. This is your inventory, guys. The more people you have on that list, the bigger your business is going to be. One of the first things you want to ask yourself is who would you want on your board of directors? So you're starting a multi-billion dollar company. Who do you want sitting around the table with you guys? You're looking for people who are committed. You're looking for people who are hardworking and you're looking for people of integrity, guys. We want to build with integrity here. And you're, you're definitely looking for people that are coachable. You want people that are going to be able to uh, listen to your advice, follow our system and build the right way. Guys, you're looking for money motivated people. And people with a huge sphere of influence, guys. This is who you'd want to approach first. These are the people you want to go right after, guys. Um, so you don't want to prejudge, guys. You want to develop your list, and you don't want to prejudge anybody. Uh, you don't want to say, well, yeah, there's this person, but they would never do this business. And you don't want to say, oh, this person will definitely do this business, guys. You just want to put everybody on this list because people that you thought would never do this business uh, will actually join your business and vice versa, guys. You just never know. It's your job to get out there and just put a bunch of names on a list and start inviting them, guys. Your list should have at least 100 names on it. Uh, we have all these tools, guys, uh, memory joggers, um, ways to sort of jog your brain as to, you know, you think you don't know a lot of people, guys, but you do. Uh, I think they say that by the time you're 18, uh, the average 18-year-old has already met 2,000 people, guys. So you think you might know five people, but you know hundreds of people, guys. And sometimes it's just a matter of digging deep and just remembering, oh, who's who who mows my lawn? Um, you know, who who's the the pastor at my church? Uh, you know, who who do I know that owns a business? All these people, guys. Uh, who who's my tax guy? Who's my accountant? Who's my financial advisor? Yeah, you just want to follow this memory jogger, guys, and get as many names on that list as you can. Okay. Your list should have at least a hundred people on it. Like I said, the more people you have on that list, the more successful you're going to be in this business. Uh, custom gathering. Let's talk about customer gathering, guys. How do we go out and how do we start our business and gather a few customers? What you want to do is you want to gather five customers within 24 to 48 hours. Okay. And you're going to earn, hold on a second. I got to move my screen here. You're going to earn anywhere from hundred to $600 guys, right out of the gate within 48 hours. You just earn, uh, go out and gather five customers. So you want to start by going to your friends and family. So this is some this is an invite you might ask your friends and family. You'd say, uh, hey mom, I need a favor. If I can save you a little bit of money on your electric bill, it's not going to cost you anything and it won't inconvenience you. And it would be really important to me. And this is where you're going to insert your why. Would you try out my service? So guys, when I first entered the energy business, uh, first person I call is my mom. Now my mom loves me. Uh, she would do anything for me. But when I went to my mom and I said, Hey mom, listen, you know I've been doing the drywall and painting business for a long time. You know, I got a bad lower back. Uh, I'm getting older. I'm not going to be able to do this forever, mom. So, mom, listen, I, I started a, a little side business. Now, mom, if, if you know, I need a favor from you. If 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 it wouldn't cost you anything and it wouldn't change anything in your life and it wouldn't inconvenience you, and, and like I said, it wouldn't cost you anything, mom, it wouldn't cost you a penny. In fact, it would even save you a little bit of money. Mom, if all those things were true, would you be willing to do me a favor? And, of course, my mom is going to say yes. Okay. And then, we, and then I tell her um, about how I can save her some money on an electricity bill. Uh, acquaintances. Okay. When you have acquaintances, you know, people that aren't your friends and family that would do anything for you, you want to focus on rate stability. 
you want to focus on budget certainty, uh, our clean energy, free energy flyers, our um, free energy program, and the rate comparison guys. Guys, um, you know, have them check the rates. You know, look, take a look at where they are, what market they're in, and, and see what we can do for them. Uh, people you do business with. Now, do you do business with people who do business with you? Um, good example, guys. So I have a, a friend who's a barber. Okay, and when he uh, was thinking about starting his barbershop, you know, he came to me and he asked my my advice. And I really supported him in uh, starting his barbershop, you know, and I was one of the first people that uh, that he cut hair on. And I will tell you, it did not work out so great. But I continued to support my friend, uh, even though, um, you know, he was just getting started. Um, shortly after that, this business came along and, and I asked him to support my business and be my customer um, for Think Energy. Um, you know, and he said, you know, he think about it. And I gave him a little bit of time, a couple of months or whatever. And after that time, he still wouldn't support my business. So what I did was I took my head to another friend um, who was a customer of mine and who was supporting my business. And now she's cutting my hair. And guys, so we like to do business with people that do business with us. Uh, after they agree to be a customer, and you're just going to ask them, can you do what I just did? And guys, if they say uh, yes, um, you know, I'm going to show them the business, guys. Show them the video um, and ask them if they want to be an advisor and or Ask them, you know, if they don't want to be an advisor, just ask them, you know, you can help them work on their free energy. Okay. We have a lot of tools, guys, um, to help us go out and gather customers. We've got flyers. These are all located in your back office. Um, free energy flyers, guys. We've got videos. Uh, we've got the rate comparison guide. Um, all kinds of tools, guys, to go out there and help you gather customers and validate your business. So let's get talking about how do we invite prospects? How do we uh, recruit advisors? How do we invite people to look at our business, guys? Inviting is the key to this business. If you can become a master inviter and learn sort of the psychology of the invite and get good at just learning how to sort of invite everybody and anybody, um, you're going to have a lot of success in this business, guys, because inviting is the key to the business. We've got tools. We've got a um, a Think Plus Connect app, guys, where you can get on there and you can enter contacts into the app and you can send the video and track the video through the app and know when your prospects have opened that video and are watching the video, guys. That's a, it's an amazing tool um, that's going to help you track your invites. So our goal in this business is to invite the prospects to take a look. It's not to get them to join, guys. You don't want to go out there um, and talk people into joining this business. That's not what we're doing here, guys. What we want to do over and over again is just invite people to take a look, okay? Whether they join or not is going to be up to them later, guys. But our job isn't to explain the business and talk them into joining. We want to go out there and we want to get as many people to just take a look at this business as we can. And as a result of that, guys, we're going to gather customers and we're going to gather advisors. You want to be brief. You want to be in a hurry. Hey, listen, uh, glad I caught you really quick. I'm in a hurry. And here's a couple of questions you can ask them, guys. Say, are you are you open to taking a look at a business idea? Uh, I'd like to get your opinion on something. I'd like to run something by you. Or do you keep your options open, guys? Always be in a hurry, guys. You don't want to get sucked into explaining the business, uh, going on and on and on. Um, and, and you don't want people making a decision to join your business based on you rambling on and on, trying to explain the compensation plan. Mike Falkwist, uh, you know, built this company in the past, whatever. You don't want to get sucked into all that, guys. You want to be in a hurry. You want to let the tools do the presentation for you. So you just want to ask them a couple simple questions. Okay, so 70% of the people that you show the plan to are not going to build this business like you do, guys. But your job is to sort through the masses of people and find the 30% of the people that will. And the key to this, guys, is finding people who want it worse than you do. You want to go out there and find people that are looking to change their lives, looking to add um, you know, any, any number of reasons that they're doing the business, guys. They want to travel more. They want more money for charity. They want to buy a new house. Uh, they want to put their kids through college. Everybody knows, guys, that the economy is tough right now and prices are up. There's a lot of reasons for, for people out there right now to go out and do this business. You want to find people that are uh, that, are, that want to go out there and build something just as badly as you do. So the key lines and thoughts to help maintain the right posture, guys. Posture is sort of the way that you present yourself, okay? Um, I remember when I first got in the energy sector, somebody came up to me after a meeting and said that, that I had a really great posture. And what he meant by that was they, that I, I was handling myself with confidence, 
okay, and excitement and um, had a positive attitude. That's what posture is, guys. You want to carry yourself with the proper posture. You don't want to come across as desperate or, you know, begging people to take a look. You don't want that, guys, because if you're begging people, it, it shows that what you have isn't really of value to somebody. So they're not likely um, to be attracted to that. Um, so one way to keep a good posture, guys, is, you know, when you're talking to people, say, hey, look, there's a chance this may or may not be for you. Yeah, you don't want to put a lot of pressure on these people, you know, like, oh, I think you'd be great at this. I think, you know, you you would really make a lot of money because then you're putting a lot of pressure on that person. And they're they're not likely to to even take a look if they feel like saying no to you is is going to crush you or disappoint you or that your whole business is sort of depending on their answer. Uh, you know, another thing you say is, look, I didn't want you to be mad later if I didn't show you. That's a good one. Uh, you know, it's 99% visual. It would take me 45 minutes to explain it. And nobody wants to sit here for 45 minutes. And by the way, guys, uh, maybe you're good at explaining it. Maybe you could take 45 minutes and explain it to somebody, but that's not duplicatable because not everybody can take 45 minutes out of their life and explain this business to people. Uh, you know, you can tell somebody after you see it, we have, uh, we can have a more informed conversation, but you got to take a look at this first you know, and then see it. And then we can talk about it and get your questions answered. Uh, this is a great one, guys. You know, uh, look, I'm not going to be disappointed if you don't join or if you don't want to be my customer, but I'll be very disappointed if you don't at least take a look. So put it on them guys to, to you know, at least just take a look, guys. You know, you're not going to be disappointed. that you, They're not going to break your heart if they don't join, but you just want them to take a look. So this is an invitation for friends and family. Uh, hey, Mike. Uh, will you be home for the next 15 minutes? Yeah, so so there are people in your life, guys, that you could call right now and say, hey, look, are you home? And they say, yeah, great, I'm coming over. I want to show you something, right? No questions asked. You can't do that to a stranger, obviously, but you got people in your life that you're that close to, and you can just swing over and take a look. Go sit down with them and share this business. So, hey, Mike, will you be home for the next 15 minutes? <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, great. I need to swing by and I need to show you something. Well, what is it? Listen, I'll show you when I get there. Boom, okay, then you're on your way. You go show them. So this is an invitation to people that you know well. Uh, hey, Sally, uh, I'd like to share a business idea with you uh, over lunch or coffee. I'm buying. When can we meet up? Okay, so this is somebody that you you know pretty well, and you just want to sit down with them. You want to go and sit, have a cup of coffee, have lunch. Um, you know, tell them, hey, I'm buying. You know, when can we meet up? Okay, so uh, another one. Uh, hey, Jim. Hey, it's Sean. Listen, I'm kind of in a hurry, and this will only take a minute. Uh, by the way, did I catch you at a bad time? So, you know, the worst thing you want, guys, is you want to, you want to, you don't want to, you know, call somebody up and then start explaining, inviting them to find out that they don't have any time and they're just irritated because they're in the middle of something. So ask them, say, Hey, did I catch you at a bad time? They're going to say, probably no. Um, and so say, great. So the reason, uh, that I'm calling is because I have a part-time business. Uh, not sure if it's something you'd be interested in or not, but I'd love to get your opinion on it. Would you be open to take a look? And if he says yes. Say, great. As I mentioned, I'm in a hurry right now. I don't have a lot of time and it's impossible to explain over the phone. So when can we get together for 15 minutes? And, you know, if he says, can you tell me a little bit more about it? Say, absolutely. Yeah. When we get together, look, I can't explain this right now. It would take me way too long. Like I said, I'm in a hurry. It's 99% visual and I need you to see it the way I did. So when can we get together? <clears throat> Guys, give him a couple of options on time, right? Don't, don't, um, you know, don't let them dictate what time give them a couple of options. Say, I have time on Tuesday at 10 or Thursday at seven. Which one is better? <clears throat> so this is somebody, maybe, you know, maybe you don't know them all that well. Uh, maybe it's an old friend from school. Say, Hey, Amy, look at Sean. Uh, I'm kind of in a hurry and this will only take a minute, but I was in a meeting the other day uh, regarding a part-time project that I'm working on. Uh, we were talking about committed, hardworking people of integrity and your name popped into my head and I promised myself that I would run it by you. Uh, may or may not be for you, and that's fine, but are you open to taking a look? Uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, depending on what it is. Uh, well, great. As I said, I'm in a hurry right now, and it's impossible to explain it over the phone. So how about we get together for 15 minutes to go over the details? Uh, you know, they may say, can you tell me a little bit more about it, guys? People want to know sort of what you're what you're talking about, but resist the urge to go into a long explanation. You don't have to do that, okay? But um, some people that you don't know very well uh, you know, they're, they're not necessarily just going to show up because you asked them to. So you might need to give them a little bit. Uh, so you might want to say, yes, sure. I found a way to get paid for helping people get electricity. Let's set up a time to get together. Um, you know, people that do business, other business owners, guys. So, hey, hey, restaurant owner, 
Uh, I really have appreciated the hospitality and great food over the years, and I know you've been very su very successful. Uh, not sure if you know this or not, but I have a part-time business, and it's going very well. Uh, it may or may not be of interest to you, and that's fine, but other restaurant owners have partnered with us and created a new income stream without interfering with their core business. Okay, guys, you want to make sure people realize that you're not asking them to quit their job. Guys, this is a, a, something we do in our spare time, guys, and it's not going to interfere with what they're doing. So do you keep your options open to additional revenue streams? Okay, you just want to run it by them, get their feedback, get their opinion on something. So this is what um, we call the pedestal invite or, or recruiting up, guys. So, you know, what you really want to do in your business is you want to try to get other successful people. We call that recruiting up. You know, you don't want to be intimidated um, by somebody else's success and you don't want to prejudge them and say, um, you know, well, they've already got all the money. You know, they've, they've already got a successful business. They'd never be interested in this. Um, and I'll give you an example. When I first got in the energy business, um, I had a doctor friend um, that I had done some work for. Uh, he's a doctor. His wife's a doctor. Um, they got three houses. You know, they got plenty of money, guys. So, I, you know, I, I knew they weren't really looking for additional money uh, necessarily. Um, but they might know people, guys. And so what, you know, what I said to him, you know, I said, hey, uh, hey, Bob, listen, you know, I know you're a very successful guy. Um, and I, I really respect that, you know, compliment them, guys. It's hard to say no to somebody when you've given them a compliment. So, Bob, listen, I know you've been very successful. And listen, I've started a part-time business. You know I have the drywall and painting company. Uh, but I've started something else on the side that um, I'd really like to get your opinion on. Uh, now, I know it's not, it's probably not going to be for you. Okay, guys, take them off the hook. Don't put pressure on them thinking that you're going to ask them to join something. Uh, Bob, listen, I know this is probably not something you're going to be interested in. But you may know somebody that I need to be talking with. Okay, so guys, go after the referral. So even if you think that the person you're talking to isn't going to be interested, they may have uh, a cousin or a nephew or a brother um, who loves network marketing or loves business ideas or loves new projects. Um, so so put it on this person to, to think of people that they can point you in the right direction, guys. So uh, listen, Bob, uh, you know, you're very successful. I've always respected you for that. I'm working on something. Love to get your opinion on it. I, I realize it may not be for you, but you may know somebody that you can point me to. Now, listen, Bob, would you do me a favor and just take a look at what I'm doing? It'd mean a lot to me. So that's how you want to approach somebody, guys, uh, that's successful uh, in the business or in a business. Uh, so the practice invite, guys. So here's another one that works really great. So, hey, Kim. I'm getting ready to show some very high-powered people a business overview, and I need your help. I need you to look at what I'm doing and critique me. Give me your opinion. Try to poke a hole in it, et cetera. Take a look at what I'm doing and let me know how I'm doing. Uh, would you let me practice on you? So, guys, in doing so, you know, when you're showing – anytime you're showing the video to somebody, guys, you have two – well, two preferred outcomes. You're either going to get a customer or you're going to get an advisor, guys, and that's what we're after. Okay, so – some people are going to want information, guys, you know, so you tell me, look, hey, I'm helping people get free electricity and I'm getting paid even when I'm sleeping for doing so. I'm not trying to get you to join anything, not trying to get you to do anything, just looking to get your feedback. So you got the three questions, guys. These three questions are gold in this business. OK, so whenever it comes down to it and you got to give somebody a little bit of information, you know, a lot of times I will tell people, look, I'm working with some very successful people in the energy industry and I'd like to um, just take a look at, at what I'm doing and let me know what you think. But these three questions right here are gold, guys. How many people do you know that use electricity? Because, guys, the answer is going to be everybody, right? How many of them would like to pay less or get it for free? The answer is everybody, guys. All positive answers. So how would you like to get paid every time people use electricity? So now they have enough information, guys, to decide whether or not they can spend 5, 12 minutes, whatever it is, to take a look at the video and take a look at what we're doing. So you want to set up a meeting, guys. Look, if I sent you a five-minute video, would you take a look at it? And if they say yes, uh, when do you think you might be able to look at it? Uh, I could look at it Tuesday. Great. So if I called you back on Wednesday, you'll have definitely watched it by then, correct? Yes. Okay, so what time should I call you back on Wednesday? They say 8 p.m. Guys, call them back at 8 p.m. Set it up. Great. Sending the video now. I will call you at 8 p.m. on Wednesday, putting it in my calendar right now. And listen, I want you to know that I'm – I, I, I take – keeping appointments really seriously. So I'm going to do everything I can unless there's an emergency or whatever it is. And I'm going to meet you. I'm going to call you at eight o'clock on Wednesday. Okay, great. So 
you want to handle objections, guys, before they happen. Okay, so a lot of people are going to want to do their research. And as you guys know, uh, you get on the Internet, uh, you'll find all kinds of different stuff, whether it's true, whether it's untrue. It's always a mixture of both, guys. So it's best to get out ahead of people's objections, guys. So, you know, that when they get on the Internet and they see some negativity, whether it be val uh, valid or not, when they see that negativity, you're going to have already – uh, um, prepared them for that and given them the proper information, guys. And so, um, particularly with, with with this company, guys, as you know, um, Mike Falquist bought this company um, from somebody else. It was already a Think Energy, and that company had not great reviews. They were not handling their customers and handling handling their business with integrity. And so, when Mike bought the company, it came with some baggage, guys, and the Trust Pilot rating for Think Energy at the time was 1.3. In just a short amount of time, guys, we've already got that up to about four and a half stars out of five, guys. So um, you want to make sure that people understand that when they're going and doing their research and they're finding reviews from 2012, 2013, whatever it is, that that's not us, guys, that this is a new company, um, all new leadership, all new ownership, all new marketing plan, all new compensation plan. Everything is new. The only thing they kept was the name, of the company and the licensing in each of the markets um, to get out there and do business in those markets. So, okay, so the presentation guys. So what you always wanna do, and we mentioned it before, is separate the invitation from the presentation, right? When we're inviting people, we're not presenting the information to them. This is a separate situation. We're inviting people to take a look and then we're gonna use the tools that we have at our disposal to go out and present this opportunity to people. So we have several different ways that we can present uh, the opportunity to people, guys. Um, we've got the short the short videos, guys. You know, you, if you've got somebody and you know they're really busy, uh, you just want to quickly expose them to the information. Uh, Tony has made a great short um, six-minute video or something like that that goes over um, all the information quickly. We've got a longer video that goes a little more in-depth and a little more detail. We've got Zoom meetings all during the week, guys, Zoom presentations with our leaders. That's a great way to get people on. It's a little longer, usually about 45 minutes. Uh, coffee, guys. Like um, I've always said that the one-on-one, -on -one, um, sitting down with somebody, um, eyeballs to eyeballs, and showing them the video and being right there with them to engage with them is, I, I think, the absolute most effective way. Uh, might take some time out of your schedule, guys, but I really believe that when you're sitting down face-to-face -face with somebody, you've got a higher chance of success um, and sort of – because – that person can see your excitement. They can gauge, you know, where you're at with the business and sort of feed off that, the excitement that you have. Uh, local meetings, guys, you know, find out where your local business presentation is, whether it's a hotel or a coffee shop or wherever it is. Um, bring people um, to sit down in a room with other excited uh, advisors and guests um, and, and have and introduce them to a leadership in the meeting. Um, new advisors and old advisors like can yeah, have a home party or uh, organize their own meeting. That's a great way. Have people into your home. Um, a two-on-one -on with a business partner. So we talked about the, the sitting down for coffee, one-on-one -on -one with somebody. But another great way, guys, is to bring somebody successful in the business with you to sit down with somebody. And then you've got great validation right there. You've got somebody that's already ranked up through the promotion, uh, through the um, uh, our, our, our rank system and they're successful in the business and you've got them with you to sort of validate this business and answer that person's questions uh, for them. Uh, once you show them the business guys, you want to ask for a decision, you know, you get done watching the video, say, you know, does that make sense to you? You know, what did you like best about what you saw, what you saw? Was it the, the, you know, they may say it, well, I really like the idea of residual income. Uh, I really like the idea about um, protecting uh, trees in the rainforest. Um, you know, I really liked, the um, community solar project. I think solar is uh, the wave of the future. Um, you know, get them talking and asking questions and telling you what they, what they like. Um, you know, and then just ask them, does that mean you're ready to get started? You know, uh, I'd like to say, are you ready to make some money with us? You know, ask them for a decision. I ask them uh, on a scale from one to 10, one being no interest, uh, 10 being you're ready to join, where do you stand? And guys, um, you know, if they say one, you know, they've got no interest, they're not gonna do this business. Um, you know, go ahead and try to sign them up as a customer. Ask them if they'd like to save some money. Uh, if they say 10, um, they're ready to be an advisor, join them up, uh, sign them up right on the spot, guys. Get them signed up. Don't waste a lot of time. Um, anywhere in between, guys, you know, if they say they're a five or six or whatever, you said, well, well, you know, that means they probably have some questions. Well, what questions can we answer for you? 
Um, you know, 10% of the people, guys, when they get done uh, watching the video, 10% of them, one out of 10, are going to say, uh, yes, um, you know, I'm ready to enroll, and you're going to sign them up right now, guys. Another 10%, one out of 10, uh, they're going to say, um, no, I, I'm not interested in joining the business. You know, ask them to be your customer. The other 80%, guys, they're going to be a maybe. And you're going to want to get them some validation, guys. They maybe have some questions. So you want them to ask questions, guys, because this gives you an opportunity to show them that we have a support system and a proven system in our business. And you're going to show them that through a validation call, guys. And let's talk about the validation call. So a three-way call, guys, is very, very important to the business. It's something that you want to get. Um, you want to get a leader in the business um, after the presentation, not before. And you want to set that call up, guys, ahead of time. So a lot of times when I'm sitting one-on-one one, one -on -one with somebody and I'm you know, telling them that what we're going to do is we're going to watch a video, I'm setting up that – I'm even setting up – well, I've already called my um, leader in the business, a business partner, and I've got them. And I said, hey, listen, uh, I'm sitting down to share the business with somebody at 1 p.m., um, can you be available to to answer some questions? Yeah, sure. Okay, so you've set up the three-way call with the leader. They're they're prepared and ready if you call them. Um, but as I'm about to share the video with somebody, guys, I'm preparing my prospect for the three-way call. I said, look, we're, we're going to sit down. We're going to watch this video. And I know you're going to be like me. You're going to have some questions um, after this video. And so what I've done was I've, 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 um, I've gotten a hold of my business partner. He's, he's an expert in the business. Um, can answer pretty much any question that you're going to have. So I've got him uh, available and ready for a phone call. Guy. Uh, so when we get done watching the video, you got some questions, we're going to give that person a call and I'm going to have them answer your questions because um, I know you're going to have questions. So you've set that call up in advance. Um, and when you're doing that, you know, like I said, you're going to, you're going to tell the person, listen, this person, uh, you're setting up the, the three-way call before the video. Uh, we're going to call my business partner. He's been, he's very successful in the business. He's won all kinds of awards. Uh, he's been a huge mentor and help to me. So you're building up your business partner to your potential advisor. Okay. So you want to talk them up and you want to refer to them as your business partner, not your upline. Um, they're your business partner. They're your friend, your business partner, your friend and business partner. I like to say sometimes, but you don't call them your upline. <clears throat> and once you do the three-way call guys, uh, introduce the business partner to your prospect and vice versa, vice versa. And when, when, um, when I get my business partner on the phone for the three-way call, my business partner doesn't have any idea what sort of feedback the prospect has given, um, you know, the potential advisor, we don't know where they stand. So if I have any indication as to the excitement level or the interest level of the person who just watched the video, I'm going to sort of, um, let my business partner on the phone know when I introduce him and say, Hey, uh, this is my, this is my friend, Mike. He just watched the video. Um, he, he's, he's excited about what he saw, but he's got some questions and that helps the, the, your business partner on the phone sort of know where to start with this person. Like, uh, you know, am I dealing with somebody who's hostile? Am I dealing with somebody who's excited and is already sort of excited to join? So just give as much information as you can when you're doing that introduction. Um, and do the call ASAP. Don't wait, guys. Time kills deals. Yeah, so, you know, you want to do that three-way call. Like I said, you set it up ahead of time. You make it part of your presentation. You're going to make that call. Um, don't be a know-it-all. Use the three-way call. So, like I said, you most of the time, guys, like I can sit there and I can answer the questions for my prospect. But you want to show this person that we have a proven system. Um, you know, that that what we do is we sit down, we push play in a video. And we dial a phone number and get the person's questions answered because anybody can do that, no matter how good of a talker they are or how smart they are. It doesn't matter. Everybody can push play and everybody can dial the phone number and get somebody on the phone to answer questions. That's our system, guys. So there's lots of ways to validate um, the business, guys, a three-way call or a face-to-face -face meeting later with this business partner. If, if you can't, there's no time to do the call now. You can have that call later. Um, Zoom conference calls, get them on the Zooms and the conference calls. Uh, get into get them the training events. Um, show them the press releases. Show them all the positive feedback we've had um, um, for the company. You know, all the we've got a lot of press releases that are very positive about Think Energy. You can send them those. Uh, get them to a local meeting so they've seen the video now. Um, give them a second exposure. Invite them to a local meeting for a live business presentation where you've got leaders, maybe you've got Mike Falkwist at that meeting. What better way to validate the business than to introduce them to the CEO of our company and um, let them get a feel for who Mike is and what a good guy he is. Um, other leaders in the in the room, um, introduce them. Um, ThinkSuccess.plus. Um, share, share that website with them so they can go in and uh, take a look at the announcements and all the stuff that's going on. 
Uh, so after the three-way call and the validation, 50%, guys, half of the people are going to say yes. You enroll them right away. Uh, after the three-way call and the validation, 30% of the people are going to say no. Ask them to be the customer. Everybody likes saving money. So go ahead and ask them to be your customer. Um, 20%, guys, they're still not sure they're on the fence. They're a maybe. Um, let's work, let's work on their written list guys. So if they've got, you know, there's, I, I don't know, we'll ask them like, who's the first person, um, that you thought of who would want to save some money, get free energy or make some money, uh, every time somebody uses electricity. Okay. Uh, if they make any excuse as to why they don't know anyone or they need to think about it, uh, sign them up as a customer guys. They, they don't want to do the business. I'm um, asking them to be your customer. Uh, if they start building a written list of prospects with you guys, um, start our proven system with them. Start working through their list, teaching them how to invite, um, you know, teaching them how to go through the system that we're working on here today. And guys, you're just going to rinse and repeat and do it over and over and over again, guys. Keep it simple. Don't get too complicated. Learn how to invite, uh, become a master inviter, follow our system, um, you know, use our validation process and um, always be adding to your written list, guys. So, you might start the business and you've got 100 people on your list, guys. But over time, as you're working through this business, keep that list growing. Keep working through that list. At any time you get a name on the list, invite them, present to them, validate the business. Same process over and over again, guys. Uh, use the tools. The company has given us tools to go out and build the business, guys. Use the tools. Don't be the tool. Okay? You don't want to be the tool that's presenting the business to everybody. You're inviting them to take a look at your business. You're using a video or a live presentation. To, um, to share our business model with them. And then you're getting their questions answered, guys, over and over and over again. It's that simple. And guys, I can promise you, uh, if you don't give up, you know, we're positioned in this company right now to do great things. We're just, we're just getting started. If you're in this business today and you're just getting started, you come in at a great time, guys. Um, over the last year, we've, we've enrolled a ton of customers, thousands of advisors, um, our business credibility is there. Our system is proven, it's working. We've got people ranking up. Uh, through every uh, rank in the promotion system. Uh, guys, if you just stick with it and follow the system, you're going to get where you want to go, guys. I promise you that. Uh, so on the screen right now, guys, a list of our upcoming events, uh, our websites. Uh, so you can find the documents that I mentioned, guys, at bit.ly forward slash think big documents. Um, you can find our videos, guys. Just take a look here. Take a screenshot. Uh, take a, a picture of the screen, guys. If you if you don't know where to find these things, you'll have them. And I want to thank you guys uh, very much for joining me this morning. Uh, it's been a pleasure. And go out there and build a great business, guys. I'll open up the lines. Okay. Is everybody unmuted? No. Okay. Uh... weird okay there you go guys i think that's it great job hey. Sean. Awesome. thank okay. you very much great job thank you awesome. thank, thank you guys you. for joining Thank hey, you. Sean, that was great great you. Fantastic. you gave me a lot of information. I'm going to be using the day and tomorrow to sign some more people up. I appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Great, guys. Awesome. Great training. Great. I can't Thank wait you, to go live Everybody have a blessed weekend. Man. Get out there and build a business, guys. Hey, man. Hello. Um, I had a question about Most the expansion Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Your list. Keep adding to your list. That was powerful. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, I had a question.